Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy aka Uzara Jarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the Spring and Full Bloom training campaign that just dropped on the global side of the game. We're we'll talking about some of the, the dates and some of the events that we can be looking forward to over the course of the next month or so on the global side with this campaign. If you look on the right side of the screen, you can see a little preview of some of the things we can look forward to by getting a new LR unit getting a couple new uh, awakenings through an Extreme Z area for the Hero Extermination Plan, get another Extreme Z battle for the Tech Fusion Zamasu, and then also we'll be having the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts, and uh, we'll be talking about the dates for that because it won't be going through actually the whole uh, Spring in Full Bloom campaign, so we'll talk about the dates, and we'll go into more detail on the rest of that stuff here in a minute. But first, before I get into it, as always, I want to let you guys know I do have a Discord chat. Go ahead and jump down to my description below. Got a link to that Discord chat. Got a lot of awesome people over there playing Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Legends. Always willing to help out and just discuss the games and stuff like that. I also just got a fan art page set up, and I'll be trying to feature some of your guys' fan art on my YouTube videos here in the future once I get everything set up for that. And I just got done with a giveaway, and I will be doing more giveaways on the uh, in the future on the Discord chat. Uh, they will all of the information and stuff like that on the giveaways will be posted on the Discord chat. So we're looking forward to you over there. Go ahead and join the Discord chat and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay tuned to more content like this. Uh, like today's video if you like the video, and also uh, comment and drop a comment down below if you have any comments or questions or anything like that. So anyway, we'll go ahead and jump over to the Dokkan Wiki where we can see um, the Spring and Full Bloom training campaign page. So, uh, various events are here. The new Super Saiyan Goku, who can be awakened to an LR. You can see him on the right side of the screen. That's his art. Uh, the, the Super Saiyan Spirit Bomb Goku, the AGL Goku. Um, he will be in the Impassioned Warriors Assemble Rising Dragon Carnival. So, we'll be able to get him, as well as we'll have a chance to summon for him, I should say. And then uh, also we'll have new Extreme Z battle, new uh, areas, or sorry, new stages for the Extreme Z area, and then also uh, the other stuff we talked about, and we'll, we'll scroll down here and talk about more of that. So uh, the, the event will be running from, or sorry, the campaign will be running from the 19th, which is today, through the 7th of May. So just from regular login bonuses, you can see here, we're going to have uh, a chance for 18, or not, yeah, if you log in every day, you get 18 Dragon Stones, and then also there are the new support items, which are the Aged Meat to recover stamina, which I think is really awesome that they've done that. And then we've got uh, some Hercule statues and some other Awakening Medals and stuff like that. Uh, and then you've got some special missions to look forward to. Um, now, mind you, there will be two parts to the special missions, so part one will run until um, the 27th of April, and then part two of the special missions will run from the 28th of April through the 7th of May. So 29 Dragon Stones in all, if you can complete all those, make sure uh, if you want to get all these Dragon Stones that you're getting all the missions and keeping an eye out um, for the 27th, because that's when those the first set will end and the second set will begin the next day. So uh, just right there with the regular login bonuses and those special missions, if you're able to get all of those, you'll be looking at uh, 47, 47 Dragon Stones right there. So that's pretty good. Uh, almost a, a summon alone right there. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got Dragonstone Sale. So if you're pay to play like me, I'll be probably picking up, you know, one or two of these sales to uh, get some stones because I do want to save up for the fifth anniversary. So if you're free to play, um, brings us into our next thing. Um, I will be talking more tomorrow when I do the summon video for the uh, the Rising Dragon Carnival. When I go in and try to summon for the Goku, um, I'll be talking more about my recommendation to summon or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're free to play, try to save up stones for 5th anniversary, of course, spend the stones how you will or how you want, but um, this Goku's going to be pretty good. There is a chance that this banner will be better than what it says right here, so uh, we'll pause on the Spring Campaign for a second, and I do want to talk about what we know so far about the Rising Dragon Carnival for this guy. So, um, we'll go ahead and jump over to the DBZ space real quick, because unfortunately on the, on, uh, the Dokkan Wiki, if you click on that banner, it takes you to the old Rising Dragon Carnival, so they haven't updated that yet. So we'll hop over to the DBZ space where we can see um, on the JP side, it was around uh, Christmas time is when this summon was available, and they were able to get uh, double rates for the SSRs. So there are a lot of people, um, if you look at some of the videos from some of the other YouTubers and some other people on uh, social media sites that, are, that had summoned on this, they were getting some pretty good 
uh, summons because it was double rates. And you can get LRs in here, so let's go ahead and scroll down, and you can see the featured units here. Um, you've got the new LR Goku, and you know, you've got the new-ish uh, Future Trunks, some Nuke Leads, pretty good. That Int Vegeta is actually really good. Um, here are the two uh, units that will be getting the Extreme Z uh, area, Extreme Z Awakening. Um, and then some other units there. And then, if you look at the unfeatured units, you've got the Thouser that's fairly new for the global side. Uh, you've got LRs all over the place, of course. So, I mean, in all reality, at double rates, these guys were able to pick up some pretty good SSRs and some LRs in, I mean, multiple LRs in the same summon. So, um, of course, we don't know everything yet because it hasn't dropped, but... I would recommend, if they do double rates on this banner, even if you're free to play, I would recommend going in a summon or two at least. But um, right now, as it looks like, all we're going to get is perform a multi-summon to get one Elder Kai. And I'll be honest with you, that if, uh, if you're free to play, that it, to me, that is not enough of a uh, incentive to go ahead and summon on that and waste your hard-earned stones. So uh, the Goku is good, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, and again, we'll talk more about that when I'm doing the summon tomorrow uh, evening. So, uh, really cool there. Uh, we got the Myri Mysterious Ritual Summon for the Elder Kais, uh, and then you can see here, Extremes Area here, here ext Extermination Plan uh, will be available later today, and we'll be able to get two new stages to awaken the Tech Vegeta and the Int Trunks there. So that's really cool. Uh, should be able to have some special missions and stuff like that associated there, so you'll get some more Dragon Stones through that. And uh, some story missions. Here you go, you got Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts. So, the 26th of April, which is next Sunday, through the 7th of May is when that will be available. So, uh, don't be bummed out if you log in tomorrow and you don't see this pop up yet, because it will not be happening until next Sunday. But, if you're lucky, you'll be able to pick up a good chunk of Dragon Stones over that uh, time period there. Um, and then you can see here we got the Extreme Z battle for the Tech Zamasu, the Fusion Zamasu, who is actually a pretty good unit. I've got him rainbowed out. I will be doing more content on that when it drops on the 28th of, uh, so pretty much part two of this campaign is when that will be coming out. And um, yeah, I'll be doing more content on that, talking about team builds and the category, the effective category, uh, do some dis some light discussion on that as well, and I'll, I'll be taking that on as well. So. We'll have a Worthy Rivals category summon around that same time at uh, on the 28th of, uh, of uh, April. You're going to have the Extreme Z Ticket Challenge Pack. Um, and then as I was talking about in my previous video here, you can see that the AGL Pan and Hyper Meta Rildo will get their Dokkan Awakenings. So that'll be, uh, they'll be decent units if you have them. Um, obviously right now they're not really worth much more than support units, but they will be getting a pretty good leader skill boost because they will be an AGL type 120%. So that's pretty cool there. Um, make those units uh, more usable. And then uh, we have some other story events that are coming back. If you need any Awakening Medals or anything like that from these, they will be there. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so pretty much that's everything that is going on during this campaign. Obviously it's not the most exciting campaign, but it is something to keep us busy um, on the global side in the meantime while we're waiting for more exciting events and uh, the obviously the fifth anniversary. So definitely uh, do everything you can to try to farm out all the stones from this event. There's going to be a decent handful and then obviously through the login bonuses and the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts, um, it'll kind of vary how much you get. But uh, overall, not too bad of a campaign. Again, not the most exciting, but... Um, there will be some exciting stuff happening uh, in the next few months leading up to the 5th anniversary as well. So uh, something to keep us busy on the global side. But anyway, that's pretty much everything I got to talk about today. Uh, go ahead and again drop a like if you liked the video today. Uh, join that Discord chat. We're looking forward to seeing you over there. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay tuned for more content like this. And uh, yeah, uh, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, coming by and checking out the video today comment down below if you have any questions or comments or anything like that and we will catch you on the next one signing out